What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment here to bring to you my takeaways and analysis video for this week's game versus Indiana. Uh, let me know what you feel about the game in the comment section below. Are you satisfied with the win? Uh, do you think that Michigan played up to their uh, up to their ability? Let me know how you feel about the game in the comment section below. Uh, please, if you can, leave a like on the video. It's really helping my channel. I really appreciate all that have left a like on the video. And if you can, just like I said, leave a like on the video. I really appreciate it. Also in the comment section below, um, you know, let me know how you feel about Michigan's chances of making the playoffs. Um, do you think that they have a great shot? Still, do you think that, uh, you know, this back half of the schedule is going to uh, doom us? Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section below. Uh, so before I get into my analysis of the game itself, I wanted to apologize for my previous video uh, that was actually... I, the best way for me to explain is somehow the videos got crossed up and I reposted my uh, predictions video from the Minnesota game. I did correct that and repost it, so if you haven't seen it, uh, I mean, I know it's a little bit late now, but I did repost the predictions video for this game versus Indiana. It looks like this exact same thumbnail. Uh, I just redid it and reposted it. So I do apologize about that. But anyways, about the game. Um, so I felt that we played really well. I guess we, you know, I mean, we had, the, you know, the final score obviously lets you know that we dominated, but we did start off really slow, and, you know, things to be concerned about, you know, JJ did take a bunch of hits in this game, got sacked, I think, like four times, which is really, really concerning. We started out pretty bad. The defense played really well. Uh, you know, except for getting burned on a trick play, which shouldn't happen, but it happened. The defense didn't give up any, uh, you know, any score from start to finish, except for that little trick play that got thrown on us. Um, and, uh, you know, we, like I said, we started off pretty slow, both on offense and on defense. They were able to move the football on us, you know, early on, but couldn't capitalize on anything. Uh, for the most part, defense was stout again, not, uh, you know, not allowing Indiana to really do much of anything. Now, it's not like they have a juggernaut offense, I get that, so, you know, you can take that off a grain of salt, but still, they weren't able to score on us seven points, like I said, off a trick play. Other than that, nothing so pretty impressed with that offensively we did start slow but did start to pick things up and uh, you know scoring 50 uh, plus points again while holding your opponent opponent to seven it's really impressive no matter who you're playing so I'm really excited about that uh, you know all in all played very very well uh, it just seems like we're getting progressively better in some areas some areas still to be concerned about the running game is still not where you would like it to be uh, you know that's still a concern not sure what's going on with Donovan Edwards uh, he just I don't know man as, as a running back I, I know People are really impressed with how he was at the end of the of last season. You know, in those games, special, obviously, the Ohio State game, where he had those two big, long runs. But just overall, as a running back, it leaves a lot to be desired. He's not that... He's not that guy the way I envision him being. Like... When you watch Blake Corum run the football, it's like I'm unless he just gets absolutely swallowed up, 
even if he gets hit, I see him falling forward for at least a yard or two more. I, I see, like, when he hits the hole, he's going to make somebody miss. He's going to get positive yards no matter what. When I see, when I watch Donovan Edwards run the football, it's like at the first sign of contact, he's going down. Or he can't break tackles like that. Or he's not... His elusiveness in the hole is not that great. I, I just don't have... Right now, I just don't have the confidence in him as a running back. Now, when you get him out in open space, I mean, he's amazing. He's a great pass catcher. Um, but it's like, as a running back, I'm just not... I'm just not seeing it. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Am I, am I reading too much into that? That's just my honest opinion on that. I just, I just don't see it from him. I mean, this, you know, he still has room to grow. Uh, you know, I, I mean, it's all for the team, and I know he's a team guy, and I know that, uh, you know, I know he's, it's not bothering him like that, but I think Blake Corum coming back probably had an effect on him from the standpoint of, I know he probably thought he was just going to be the man. He was going to be the guy getting all the carries, and then Blake comes back. Obviously, Blake is going to be the guy. He's going to be the second guy. And as I'm sure that's had a stunt in his growth. But if he's running the way he is now, just imagine how our running game would be. So it's almost like I'm glad that Blake came back to give us that stability at the running game. Because when he runs the football, I know we're going to get something positive out of it. When Donovan does it, I don't know. Once he gets hit, he goes down. Now, is he more of a home run threat than Blake? Yes. And you saw that in the Ohio, in the Ohio State game. But, I mean, when he made those runs, uh, it was like, there was just a huge hole. He just ran through the hole. He didn't do anything. He didn't make it cut or anything like that he just hit a hole and then his speed took over nobody even touched him so I just hope that he improves gets better uh, I hope he does come back next year because right now he doesn't seem like he's getting to be ready as a day one starting running back in the NFL he just doesn't seem ready for that so, anyways, back to the game itself. Offensively, uh, very, very good. Passing game, solid. Uh, you know, I didn't see anything from a passing standpoint that was concerning. I mean, I did see, obviously, the, the sacks early on. That's got to be cleaned up. I mean... You know, this Indiana had a good game plan as far as that goes, but that heck, that can't happen. He can't get sacked like that. He's too valuable to be taking hits like that. So hopefully the offensive line can get that cleaned up uh, going into our next game. And uh, you know, we just got to take it one game at a time. Um, you know. We just got to keep them improving. I, I know everyone harps and complains and talks about the schedule, but you can only play the people in front of you. But that being said, as long as you're dominating the people that you're playing and you're not getting into any bad habits, you're just playing to your best ability and you're dominating playing at your best ability, that's all that can be asked of you as a team. So, it would be great if we were actually tested against a team comparable to our own so we can see where we're at. But until then, we just got to continue to play the games that we're playing at the level that we're playing and stay focused, stay sharp, continue to improve, and just go forward from there. So... Um, I'm happy with the victory, and 
it's on to the next game. That's all I can really say. Uh, so, anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like on the video. I really appreciate it. It definitely helps my channel out. Channel out. Uh, please share this video with as many people as possible. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about the uh, the game itself if you made it this far. And if you enjoy my content, definitely subscribe to the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. And as always, go blue.